My name is Wendy Lawrence. I'm a retired naval aviator and NASA astronaut as well. Uh, as a 10 year old sitting in front of my black and white television, I was, I was growing up in Southern California. To this day, I still remember being absolutely mesmerized by watching Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin shuffle along that lunar surface for the first time. And it just looked like a really cool job to have. And I said to myself, I think that's what I want to do when I grow up. I want to be an astronaut and I want to fly in space. So I appreciate venues like this, the Expo, because it gives me an opportunity to stand in front of kids and say, hey, I'm a real life person, a regular person just like you. And I was able to make my dream come true. So if I can do it, you can do it as well. But I always make a point to them that it starts with a great education because that's the foundation that they're going to build the rest of their lives on. And it also starts with a lot of hard work. So I try and make a point of encouraging them to dream the dream, to have the courage to do that, but then being willing to follow it up with a heck of a lot of hard work because it will take you a while to make that dream come true. Hello, I'm Joe Edwards. I'm a former NASA astronaut. I'm here in Oakland, California this weekend at Evolution Expo. We spent an entire weekend going over uh, science and technology and education and exposing young people in this part of the state to uh, hard science through NASA astronauts as well as science fiction with many folks that are well known within popular culture, media, television, and film. It's a very important mission that we are on. To, uh, to equate young people with uh, science, mathematics, and technology so that we can build today the foundations for future scientists and, and explorers that will uh, take us from uh, the current International Space Station that's orbiting the Earth today and back to the moon and onto Mars and the outer planets. There can be no